Hello and welcome to another episode of Map Talks. I'm Mats. Now we are in Enrucon, which is a very historic place in Norway. Uh, the, the war and some such. This time I have a Jaguar I Pace EV400. And uh, it's a really nice car. It's got the automated rear hatchback. Plenty of cargo room, but you know, it's sufficient enough. Door pops out when you. And I'm, they're still mechanical, mind you, they're not electric. You know, not the biggest of rare space, but still, and you have the big panel roof, which is quite nice. Huge 22 inch rims. It looks absolutely magnificent. Now I'm on the Fortum Charge and Drive char uh, lot door, as you can see. So the fan is running quite wild now. It's, uh, well, when you're used to Model 3, everything is a little bit, uh, eh. It's very because of the black interior, partly. You see here? That's my eye line. So, because the, the headliner is pulled so far forwards, and in the Model 3, so it goes to here. So you have more like, you can see more of the glass roof. It's still very nice to have though. We have the rear seats, they also have their individual climate controls. The seats are very comfortable to sit in, they're very well sculpted. I know I have an earlier video about the, uh, the, this car, but now I have driven it a while, so I sort of lived with it. I got it yesterday. I'm gonna use it the weekend. Now you have the gear selectors, or choose your if you're going backwards or forwards. Uh, I, I still haven't used this, the wipers, because you know, in the Model 3 you go like. So, you know. And then I have. This screen down here, I'm sorry for the sun is in the way. You can have, normally it's on, um, normally it's on climate, like this. But then you can push this button with the two, like this, here. And now it runs on media, or it runs on telephone. So you can put that down there. And also if you push these, while you while the car is in drive, you you can put the heated or heated or cooled seats on. And here, of course, you have your system. This system got a lot of flack for being slow and dim-witted. Either they've done something to it, or it's just was reported to be worse than it is because it's actually quite okay, quite okay. And then you have your instrument cluster, which is partly you can select. You can select what you um, want to have on each side. And you also have a head-up display. And the head-up display is quite intelligent. Because when you get into complex traffic situations, if, if you're navigating somewhere, intersections and roundabouts and stuff, it projects that up on the windscreen in front of you. If, if, if you're on the highway doing, you know, going straight forward for 10 kilometers, it doesn't show it to you, but when you get into when you need it, it's there, and that's very intelligent. That, 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 that's well designed, that's well designed. And the, um, the Meridian sound system, that's fantastic. I mean, the sound, of the, uh, the sound of the Teslas are good, it's very, very good. But this is top notch. This and the Burmeister and the Mark Levinson's of the world. I don't think you can do much better than this. It's, it has depth. But it also has clarity and you can distinguish everything apart from each other in a way you can't necessarily do in the Tesla. So this is quite a different league above that. And that's just how it is. And it has and it has adaptive air suspension, which makes it well still in even in comfort here, it's still fine. Well, sporty. But it is comfortable enough to swallow the worst of our, of our roads and still can keep a good good um, progress. If you put it in dynamic, it gets about as firm as my Model 3 is from the factory. 
So, but it is still two point something, two point four tons or whatever it is. And you can feel that when it gets when the road gets very narrow and very twisty. You know, physics is still physics. But it's a great car and it's quiet. Not not as refined as the Audi or as the Merc. I haven't driven the Merc yet, but it's a, a vegan. That those are Wolf mobiles. This is well, this is a Jaguar, and that means that it's. It's comfortable and it's still sporty and it's just of course the interior here feels more cramped around you it's more like your dress is on the car the my mold 3 uh, is cheaper goes much further charges much 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 faster than this and has much more range but still it's a great it's just this is a good car for what it is after all so i guess we'll just um keep update you later that hotel room for the night or well yeah, it's, a, it's uh, on the top of the mountain from here down to the um, southern part again gone from uh, Rukan and over the mountain and uh, well <laughs> the, the Jag is fantastic it's so quick and so fast and it's brilliant and so comfortable and stereo is good it's, as I mentioned, it's very good, but it's um, in true Jaguar fashion, it's very, very thirsty. After fumbling about on the infotainment system, uh, it's finally to zero out one of the trip counters. I think now I have 287 watt hours per kilometer, which is absurdly high. Uh, that said, I did drove somewhat spirited across the mountain, but you know, it's a sporty car. And it's absurdly quick, and it's relatively quiet as well. It's running on 22 inch rims. And it's that comfortable and that quiet. That's just amazing. Though the car, had a fantastic day with it. I made a lot of fun with it since I had to charge everywhere because, well, it's, 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 it's thirsty. So, as you can see around me, it's not the most, the most advanced, but it's okay. I'm just gonna sleep here, and tomorrow we will carry on traveling. So, like, comment, subscribe, and um, probably see you tomorrow for uh, another day. And uh, let's see if I can get the consumption of the jack down a little bit. Good night. <laughs>